Big time money can lead to big time mistakes and the world of Major League Baseball is absolutely no different. Today's video we were looking at the 8 worst contracts currently in Major League Baseball. Let's go! Number 8! Giancarlo Stanton and the New York Yankees have the 8th worst contract in baseball. 13 year, $325 million, $25 million per year. It was signed at age 25. And when it was signed by Stanton with the Marlins at the time, everybody knew this is going to be moved to a big time team that can afford this. And it just isn't working out. Is Stanton a quality player? Yes, when he plays. The problem, he's only played 53% of games since 2018. In those games, he's got a quality 831 OPS. That's a good number. But considering he has only played 77 games on defense since 2018, that is a problem. His hamstrings will not even allow him to play the outfield with any consistency. This keeps the Yankees from being able to shuffle guys through the DH spot, and they have plenty of guys who could benefit from that. DJ LeMahieu, Josh Donaldson, when these guys are healthy, they could use a game off their feet to DH. But it can't happen in New York because of Stanton and that contract. And that is a no-sell contract. Nobody's taking that on for a DH who can't play the outfield and can't run the bases because of hamstring issues. So the eighth worst contract in baseball, Giancarlo Stanton, New York Yankees. Number seven. The Milwaukee Brewers contract with Christian Yelich, seven years, $188.5 million, that's $27 million per year, signed at age 28. The issue has been the production since that time, since 2019. He does not have a 15 home run season. He does not have a 60 RBI season. This is a former league MVP with multiple years of 35 plus home runs, multiple years of 100 RBIs, his high of 111 OPS plus in this time frame, everything else below that, these are all career lows since 2018. So Yelich just has not been able to produce at the expectation that he set for himself by winning MVP awards, finishing second in the voting. Yelich was a talent, but back injuries have been the major source of concern for Yelich with the Brewers. And the problem is the Brewers are such a small market team, they can't afford to be making these types of financial mistakes. And it did not seem like a mistake at the time, but it sure feels like one now. It's number seven on my list. Number six. Yes, number six is Yankees third baseman Josh Donaldson. The Yankees have a couple on this list. Four-year, $92 million. This contract was signed with the Minnesota Twins, and the Twins got out of it by shipping it to the Yankees in what seemed like a really poor trade at the time, but sure makes a lot of sense now. $23 million per year for a guy that was 34 years old at the time who was coming off of significant calf injuries in the past. It didn't make a lot of sense then. Donaldson kind of played it into a good contract for a couple years, but not anymore. He's played only 57% of games since 2019. The OPS Plus, 132, 127, some good years there with Minnesota, but 94, and now 32 this year so far with the Yankees. There's been no trade partner in this. The only five games he's played this year. The Yankees would love to dump this on somebody, but there's nobody in baseball that's going to help them out. So this is the number six worst contract in Major League Baseball. Number five. Chris Bryant, Colorado Rockies. Now, Chris Bryant is a very good player. The problem the contract is, the Rockies stink. Seven years, $182 million, $26 million per, signed at age 30 by Chris Bryant. The issue, again, is the Rockies stink. They are not going to win in this time frame with Chris Bryant in his prime. Last year, he played only 42 games. Five home runs, 14 RBIs, a 127 OPS plus, which is a very good number, but they finished last. When it was signed, it didn't make sense. The Rockies are not ready to contend. This is the type of deal that you sign a player to when you are ready to contend. But Chris Bryant made it like gangbusters, getting his money out of the Rockies, and he's going to be there for a while because I don't know who's going to take this contract on. There's just not a lot of teams that can make this type of commitment. $26 million to a player who's not worth that kind of money at this stage in his career and is only going to get 
older and age out and decline in skill. So no, this is my number five. Now, Chris Bryant, still a good player, but the contract is the fifth worst in my eyes in Major League Baseball. Number four, Washington National starting pitcher, Patrick Corbin. Corbin got paid for what he did, not he, what he was going to do. He helped the Washington Nationals win a World Series, got paid to the tune of six years, $140 million, $23.3 million per, signed at age 29, and since that time, he has been a league average or much worse pitcher. ERA plus is of 96, keeping in mind 100 is average, 70, 61, 84, he has been horrific. 81 home runs allowed in 435 and a third innings. That's nearly two home runs per game that Patrick Corbin has given up since 2019. He has twice led the league in losses, and that is not a good stat that you want to be leading in. Patrick Corbin has been abysmal since he's been paid. The only saving grace of this whole thing for the Nationals is that Corbin has been healthy and has pitched a bunch. He just hasn't been good. And on a rebuilding team, he is a bit of a veteran. He can give you quality innings in terms of duration, but the actual quality innings in terms of stuff is not good. He's a bit of a leader there out there in the starting pitching staff, but he has been very, very, very poor. There's nothing the Nationals can do about it. Nobody's taking this contract. Fourth worst in baseball. Number three, Detroit Tigers shortstop Javier Baez. This contract just does not make sense to me. Six years, $140 million, $23.3 million per season. Signed at age 28. But 172 strikeouts in 181 games for Javi Baez. He's basically striking out at least once per game. That is absurd. His OPS Plus last two years, 93 and currently 89 this season. That's not good for a quality starting shortstop. And minus four defensive runs saved in 2022. Baez was known for his defense and power at the plate, but neither has really hit in Detroit. He is not hitting well enough, he's striking out too much, and his defense is not good enough to be getting paid this kind of money. Baez was brought in to lead this team forward, and Detroit has made a big mistake. So if their young guys are going to develop, and they are ready to contend, this contract is going to be an albatross for that organization, and I don't know how they get rid of it, because Baez is not the player that they thought they were investing in. This is not going to end well in Detroit. Javi Baez with the third worst contract in baseball. Number two. Angels third baseman Anthony Rendon is the worst position player contract in all of baseball. Seven years, $245 million Rendon got from the Angels. $35 million per year for the World Series hero with the Washington Nationals. But since he's come to the American League and the Angels, he's played only 41% of games. He has not hit 10 home runs in a season since 2019 and defensive run saved minus one, minus six, and two. He was known for a decent glove at third base and that hasn't worked out either. It's quite clear that injuries are crippling Anthony Rendon. He hasn't hit, he hasn't fielded, he hasn't stayed healthy. All of these are makings for the worst positional player contract in baseball, and he is being paid a ton of money, and this may be the biggest reason why Mike Trout and Shohei Otani do not make the playoffs, because the Angels are forced to pay Anthony Rendon all this money and get nothing back in return. Very quickly, before we look at number one, I have some honorable mentions. Those include shortstop Xander Bogarts for the San Diego Padres, pitcher Jose Barrios for the Toronto Blue Jays, closing pitcher Edwin Diaz for the New York Mets, and New York Mets center fielder Brandon Nimmo. All those contracts I worry about in the future, but for right now, I'm going to let it slide because we haven't seen the fall off of production quite yet or the long-term injury effects, so we'll see where those contracts get in the future. Number one. The worst contract in all of baseball is Steven Strasburg of the Washington Nationals. 
Seven years, $245 million, the exact same as Anthony Rendon, $35 million per year, signed at age 31. Strasburg has thrown 31 and a third innings since signing this contract. He has a 5.59 FIP, a 5.71, and a 5.68 FIP, which is fielding independent pitching, which is similar to ERA, but kind of takes some of the fielding out of it in terms of other players. Strasburg has had terrible numbers, even in the small amount of innings he's pitched. He led Major League Baseball in innings in 2019 with 209 innings pitched. It's become quite evident that his body simply cannot take this anymore. Steven Strasburg has been worn down by pitching over the years, and it's just turned into an albatross of a contract. It's scary to think that three of the four worst contracts in baseball all come out of that Washington Nationals championship team. They were an older roster when they won that championship, and it's quite evident that the players went through a lot to win that title and simply cannot hold up anymore. Steven Strasburg was such a talent. He was so hyped when he was coming up as a rookie. So much hype through the years. He really displayed it so much at the Nationals that postseason run and winning that championship. But he just can't produce it anymore. So for right now, that is the number one worst contract in Major League Baseball. Thank you so much for making it all the way into the video. Make sure you comment down below who you think has the worst contract in Major League Baseball or who you think is going to have one in a few years. As always, I respond to all the comments, so make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Also, go check me out on your mobile device. Go log into your YouTube app. I put up new stuff in terms of the community tab out there. Polls, questions, ideas for videos. I'm looking for community involvement, so get involved here with us in 3 Up, 3 Down, so we can produce some of the videos that you want to see and talk all kinds of baseball. Until next time, go check out my video in terms of expansion in Major League Baseball. That one's been a big hit, so you want to go check out where I think Major League Baseball needs to go. As well, go check out some YouTube shorts. Until next time, take care everyone.